Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If you use SQL Server login, which table will be used to store log information? So what is login? Login is a way or a method in which we save runtime information for a package in some format. We save the uh, information in a text file, we save the information in XML, we save the information in SQL Server table and there are a couple more. So here in this video we are going to learn how to store that runtime information in a SQL Server table and if a later uh, error happen so we can go back to that table and find out what error happened and we can debug our or troubleshoot our SSIS package so let's go to the SSDT or bids whatever you have and then enable login and in this case we will be working on SQL Server login so there are multiple ways to enable login you can you are in the control flow pan and then you can right click and the very first option you have is login the second method is uh, you can go to SSIS uh, uh, drop down here and then click here and the very first uh, uh, option is login so you click here now here you see the provider type that's where you need to select which provider you want to use if you see here we have SSIS log provider for text file automatically selected then click on the drop down and then the next one is uh, SSIS log provider for SQL server and here on this side we have uh, containers or executables uh, on which uh, we can uh, or which on which we want to enable login for different events uh, so on each of the container we have events uh, and uh, they are pretty much different on uh, each of the uh, container so let's uh, click on the package level and say okay we want to save on error information on uh, post execution on pre execution on progress uh, uh, on warning so this is this is the information we want to save on package level next uh, we have data flow that we use in as SSIS package so it to give us different options we have on error on uh, post execution pre execution on progress uh, and we have on fa task failed so I'm selecting some of them that I feel like they're important for me and they will help me to debug a package if an error happen you can always go here in description and read the description of these events let's go back to the uh, package level and see uh, we, we have selected SSIS log provider for SQL Server now we need to add when we hit add it will give us uh, uh, the configuration part so we have to configure that right click, uh, click here and then uh, new connection I already have some connection I'm gonna uh, delete this one and uh, create a new one so here I have to provide uh, the SQL Server uh, name or uh, uh, SQL Server instance name and next part select a, uh, or enter a database so I have to select a database here I can put the in any database what I want in my case I want to use the test database test connection successful hit OK now this is the connection it is going to use and hit OK let's run our SSIS package close this one and connect to our SQL server go to databases we have test database and should be going to tables so as of now if you see that we have customer table employee table uh, file information package load uh, and SSIS configuration so we, we have these tables let's run our SSIS package and see if a new table is created in uh, this database so let's run the package package completed successfully let's go back to the SS, uh, SSMS and now what we have here we have a, we should have a new table created to this database so in the system database what we have here dbo ss um, dbo ss uh, sorry dbo sys ssis log table that's what the table it it will be using so right click i i was actually checking in the 
user databases but uh, this table will be in the system databases uh, tables so this is a table it created so uh, let's uh, take a look on the some of the select records and it did put the information uh, in the table what information it put uh, it has id event computer operator and execution and uh, then it has a uh, data code and message so we can see that this is the information it will have it so if it error happened this is where we are going to see that in the message uh, column that's where we see the information now if we read on the package it, it is going to append the records that's what happened so you can use uh, this table uh, for all of your packages you, let's say you have 100 packages so you can uh, enable uh, SQL Server uh, login and then uh, every every package will be putting information in this uh, uh, table what you have to do you have to do configure on different um, servers on a UAT production or um, SIT what you need to do you have to use uh, this one in configuration and pass uh, the different server name so you don't want to write all the logs to one server but if you have dedicated server that's only for SSIS and you want to log information to that server uh, from any server you can do it but still it will be confusing if you are running the package on dev and uh, putting the information into this table and uh, putting uh, from SIT and prod so what we do on uh, or what I have learned uh, work in different companies we have always a database on each of the environment where we, we will create this table and put the information second most uh, important uh, point is uh, this table will grow huge so it, it start taking more time and uh, you need to remember purge old records if you need to put information maybe you want to take the records from this table and uh, um, you know puts in some uh, database uh, uh, that's only for uh, reading and uh, not a whole lot of activities going on um, in our case what we do we only keep seven days uh, uh, records and if uh, any any package failure happen we, we figure out that in like a day maximum and two days and then we don't need those uh, log uh, information sitting there so we keep still seven days uh, log information in this table that's what I will recommend if you're a package running every hour or two hours and you have hundreds of packages uh, delete the old records and uh, just keep for for the days you need one more information when we selected here I would like to say do not select all the events don't click here because all this information you do not need that S go ahead and read some important events uh, you would need uh, for the debugging so this is pretty much it uh, how to configure uh, your uh, login for SQL server table and the pa table name it will create uh, it will be called the DBO sys SSIS log and I'm using a uh, SQL server uh, 2014 and uh, in your case if you are using old version maybe SSIS uh, 2005 the, the table name will be lit slightly different but it will still be a log and um, I, I think so it is SSIS log I don't remember that but uh, in the new version uh, this is called the DBO SSIS uh, sys ssis log thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video